Hi, this is Pre Algebra Lesson 4-5. Solve markup and markdown problems. Let's look at um, solving this gossip question. Claire subscribes to an online music streaming service for a yearly fee of $96. Starting next month, there will be a 12% increase in the fee. The ad for another music streaming service is shown below. Should Claire switch? Explain. Okay. This is the ad. Digital streaming of music, $8.75 per month. Hmm. It's uh, the, the plan she currently has has a yearly fee of 96 and starting next month, it's going to increase 12%. But what does 12% mean? Let's look at current plan and then um, calculate other plan to see which one is cheaper. Okay. All right, so current plan, she has um, she has to get 12% of 96. What's 12% of 96? 96 times 0 0.12, because 12% is 0 0.12, is going to give you how much it is uh, for it to cost 12% of 96 dollars which is 11.52. So her current plan is gonna increase 1 point, wait, let me see, um, no, 11 point, 11 11.52. And that should add up to 107.52. So starting next month, it's going to be um, 107.52 per year. Right. So um, your ad, the ad says it's 8.75 per month, but how much does it cost per year? Right. So other plan is going to be 8.75 dollars per month, but how many? month do we have in a year? 12. So you multiply that by 12, you get $105. The other plan is cheaper because 105 is less than 107.52. So she should switch. Okay, so in this lesson, we'll be able to solve problems involving percent markup and markdowns. Let's look at um, examples and think about how the concepts of percent markup and percent markdown are related to the percent equation. Example one, find the percent markup. Marty buys plain cell phone cases and then decorates them to resell online at a higher price price. What is the percent markup on each phone case? Okay, so she's gonna, she's gonna buy a plain one, and then she's gonna decorate it, then she's gonna resell it online with a higher price. So this is what she bought, 7.20, and then she's selling her decorated um, phone case um, with uh, $11.25 each. That is called a markup. If you mark the price up, right? You're adding the price. That is a markup. Markup is the amount of increase from the uh, cost of an item to its selling price. The markup as a percent increase from um, the original cost is the percent markup. Okay. So step one, you're going to draw a bar diagram to represent which one is the whole. Um, which one is the markup price? So 7.2 to 11.25, you marked up $4.05. So what is the percentage? You use, this is the part, right? This is the part and that's the whole. So what's the percent of the part in terms of the whole? 
um, you use the percent, the part equation, right? Part is equal to percent times whole, right? So the markup is going to be the part 4.005 is equal to percent we're trying to get times the cost, original cost 7.20. So divide 4.05 by 7.2 in order to get the percentage, you get 0 0.5625. Remember to express the decimal value as a percent, which is multiply by 100, you get 56.25%. So she got $7.2, uh, she paid $7.2, but she's gonna sell it again with 56.25% more price, okay? Let's try the question by yourself and see if you get it. Come back when you are ready for answers. What's the percent markup on the $300 phone sold for $465? Okay, so you buy a phone for $300 and then you sell it for $465. So your whole price is $300. That's your original price. And then you sell it for $465. The markup is the difference, which is $165. And you want to figure out how much percent that is. So you're going to say markup is 165 is equal to P times 300, the cost. And so you divide 165 by 300 in order to get P, divide 300 on both sides, you get 0 0.55. So the percentage of the phone is 55%, fill in the blanks. Yeah. So how does the percent equation help solve markup problems? It can help you relate each part of the problem situation so that you can make the correct computations. Yeah. So once you have the equation, you need to know which stands for which. Okay. Example two, find the selling price. The local furniture store pays $110 for a chest of jars and sells it with a 40% markup. What is the selling price of the chest of jars? So a furniture store is gonna pay 110 for a chest of jars and then it's gonna sell it with a 40% markup. So what's the 40% of 110? You're gonna add that to 110, that's your final price, the selling price. Okay, step one, do a bar diagram, see which one's the whole, which one's the markup. Selling price, you don't know, but you know it's a 40% markup. 100% um, is your original uh, price, 110. Okay, so markup is equal to percent markup times cost. So your, your markup, you don't know you're trying to get, get that. So put a variable and then percent markup, 40% is equal to 0 0.4 divided by, because you divide it by 100. Okay, and then you times it by 110, you get 44. So the markup is $44. 110 plus 44 is equal to 154. The selling price should be 154. Let's do try it. What's the selling price for 45 pair of shoes with a 15% markup? So that's the original price. And you know the 15% is gonna be the markup price. So figure out, first figure out 15% of 45 by multiplying 0 0.15 times 45. Six point seven five. Okay. And then you add it from the original price, which is forty five, and that's going to be fifty one point seven five. Okay, so that's the selling price. Marker price is 
selling price is 51.75, okay? Example three, find a markdown in sales tax. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, things go on sale. So you're gonna figure that out. Edward wants to buy a snowboard that is on sale. If the sales tax in Edward's state is 7.5%, how much will he pay for the snowboard? So the selling price was $180, uh, but it's gonna be 30% off and that's a markdown. You need to figure out how much is a markdown price and you can subtract that from 180 to get the final sales price. Okay, uh, vocab word, markdown is a decrease from the original price of an item to its self sale price. The markdown of a percent as a percent decrease of the original price is a percent markdown. The markdown represents the money itself in this situation. Percent markdown is the percentage, okay, from the original. So step one, use the percent equation. Markdown is equal to percent markdown, 30% off. Um, times original price. So 180 times 30%, which is 0 0.3, is going to be 54. So you're going to subtract 54 from 180 because it's a mark down, not mark up. So 180 minus 54 is 126, and that is your sales price. But then you have a tax of 7.5. So from that price, you're gonna you're gonna apply the sale price from um, from that price. So um, uh, you need to get seven point five percent of hundred twenty six, which is nine point four five, and then you can add to your um, hundred twenty six. You get one hundred thirty five point four five, and that's the final price he'll he'll pay for the snowboard. Okay, not bad. Uh, started from starting from $180, 135.45 is a good deal. Let's look at try question. Find the mark percent markdown for an uh, $80, $80 jacket that is on sale for $48. There's no tax you need to worry about. Just find the markdown price, the sale price. Okay. So first you need to figure out the markdown price. Um, uh, by subtracting 80 minus 48, that's your markdown price. And you need to figure out how much percent it is marked down from 80, uh, $80, right? So 80 minus 48 is going to be $32. You want to find the uh, how much uh, 32 is from 80. It's going to be 32 divided by 80. But why? Because you're going to you're going to represent you're going to use the markdown price. 32 is equal to percent markdown times original price 80. So in order to get P, you need to divide both sides by 80. So you have 32 divided by 80. OK, and that's going to be exactly 0 0.5 be exactly 0 0.4. And so what, what is that in percent? 40%. So 80% $80 jacket was 40% on sale. All right, so that was the mark up and mark down problems um, in lesson five. And now you can solve mark up and mark down problems using the percent equation. All right, that was lesson five. We'll continue with the last lesson in the next video. Bye.